At First Sight was a novel that I actually pitched, and they begged me not to write it. They begged me not to write it, including people that worked for me. You know, said, oh, I don't think you should write. I mean, everybody told me not to write this novel. But I always thought it was a cool idea. And I started writing my Shane Scully series, and those books were doing really, really well. And I love the Shane Scully series. But you know, when you're writing a series, it's the same character and all that. And I thought, you know, I really want to try and write something completely different. Just to try, just to try, just to do something different. So I thought, well, this has got to be the one to do, because if I'm going to take a chance, then i got to take a chance on something that's risky. And what made it risky is it's written from the point of view of a sociopath. But what they couldn't see that I knew I could do was that I could make it darkly funny. It's a very funny book. You know, you kind of like Chick. He's very sardonic, my hero adversary. He's an internet executive, and his whole life is crashing, and his wife is, you know, just this Beverly Hills terror. I mean, she's killing him with her black AMX card, and, you know, and his business is going broke, and he doesn't have any money anymore, and his 16-year-old daughter is shacked up with a hell's angel, and he's afraid of this guy. Everything about this guy's life is in the bucket. And at that very moment, he's over in Hawaii with his family for their Christmas vacation, and he, down by the pool, and out of the pool comes this beautiful woman who's 30 years old. He's 55. And, and it's love at first sight. I mean, the vibe literally comes across the pool deck and just, <laughs> just shakes him. And, uh, and, you know, he just can't, he can't get over it. He can't, and it becomes an obsession for him. You know, this book is about the shallowing out of American values. And I felt that Chick Vest, my, my narrator in this, in At First Sight, is the perfect example of the degeneration of the American value system. I have piled all of this into his persona, and it's allowed me to, to write this theme, which I've been really wanting to write for like five or six years. On a story level, the book is, is about a guy who, who his life is, is not working for him, and it's not working for him because of the thematic reasons of, of being a shallow vessel, of not, of not being a deep person, of not, of not having anything he really truly believes in. He's shallow because his, he's trying to make his, his possessions create value for him. If you drive a good car, then you're worth more than the guy who drives a bad car. And this guy comes to Hawaii and falls in love with the ultimate trophy, this beautiful 30-year-old woman. And, and, and literally, in his attempt to acquire this, this symbol of sexual prowess and, and viability in the commercial marketplace, he ends up destroying his life and everybody else's. It's darkly funny, this book. This book has, has got some meanness in it, but it's funny mean, you know? It's like the guy is, is out of control. And his own rationalizations for why he's doing things. When he tries to explain the reason for trying to kill his wife, I mean, he makes a case for that. <laughs> and of course, in my mind, it's ludicrous. You know? but, but in his mind, and when I'm being chick, because I am a, I'm a schizophrenic writer, you know, I've become everybody. When I'm Paige, the girl that he falls in love with, I, I, I'm looking at this guy and I'm trying to figure him out and what's, why is he doing this? And when I'm chick, I'm, I've got my whole value system and it's all, I know it's hollow and shallow and I can't help it, it's the one I got. Every time I write a book, I try and write something I haven't written before. And for me, obviously, the stretch here was to write this character and make him engaging enough so you care about him at the same time you're repulsed by him and by his value system. And yet he's funny, so his, his humor keeps you alive, keeps you in into him. And I think at the end of this novel, I felt like I had really pulled that off. I had come away with a, with a win.